Good day everyone, it is I, Sir Review, uh, making my second Halloween review. And I will be making two reviews this weekend, one today and one tomorrow. Um, I'm making one tomorrow because it's, or it's in order to make up for the first week of October I missed. And that that review will be um, Alien vs. Predator. And of, I know a bunch of you are going to say that's not a horror film. Well, it does have horror elements to it. I'm not using I'm not reviewing it as a horror film. I'm just like using that to make up for the for the week I missed at the beginning of the month. And today we're I'm actually really excited to, to talk about um today's um movie because it's one of my favorite horror films of all time. It has a, a cool story behind it. It's it had a good director and the movie is Insidious. And now <clears throat> Insidious is not one of the really well-known um, horror franchises, but it's 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 out it's up there, and it has like a a cool a cool look onto the spiritual realm and, and all that stuff. And just so you know, this review will have spoilers because I mean I like this movie a lot, and I want to get de I'm not gonna like give an exact detail of the story. I'm just gonna summarize the plot and the movie. Um, as much as I can. So this this does have spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie and you want to see it, um, then you might want to be careful because this has a lot of spoilers in it. So the film revolves around this um, f little family um, with this young boy, and they recently got, went into a uh, moved to a house. Well, they start to at first, you know, sense some weird things going on in the house, but apart from that, it was everything seems normal. Until one until one morning, um, the uh, the main the main character, the little boy, um, well actually I wouldn't consider him the main character. I'm pretty sure the mother would be considered the main character, but he's one of the main characters. He's a little boy. He's asleep, but apparently he's in a coma, and they don't know how, how it happened. They just went to his room in the morning and they found him in a coma, and they don't know what's going on. So, so they're concerned, they don't know what's going on, and the, the paranormal activity in their house is actually starting to escalate. They're seeing, they're seeing a demon a lot, they're seeing um, strange voices, they're, see, they're hearing noises, they're seeing strange things in the mirrors. It's starting to escalate. So as the movie progresses, um, they start to wonder um, what's, um, what's going on here. So they, they contact a paranormal team. Um, like two guys to um, check out the house and see what's going on, and they go in there and they find a lot of um, whacked out stuff. They um, they know that there's a demon there. They know that there are ghosts there, but they're even more interested in why the boy is in a coma and how how it happened, and they believe it has something to do with um, so something paranormal. So they actually contact this lady. I forgot I forgot her I forgot her name, but she. She did a really good job in this film, and she's like a psychic, and she goes to the house, and she finds a bunch of paranormal activity. She senses evil, just pure evil in the house, and she tells them that her son has a unique gift, and that this gift um, is the ability to travel into the spiritual realm that she calls the further. It's like a world where the where the the dead um, relive their their lives as if they're not dead. They know they are, but they know they are dead. But they they want to be able to live again, and the, and she warns them that if they don't get him, like if they, they if they don't find his further body, like they, if they don't find his spiritual body in the further and bring it back to his physical body, one of the other spirits. <clears throat> And possibly the evil demon they're dealing with will take over the uh, his body, and he will be like that um, for as long as possible. And so they're trying their best to get to him. So they they lock themselves in the in the room with him, and she puts on this mask in order to um, you know um, stop any demons from entering in, within inside of her. I don't know how that mask could do that, but you know I didn't really think much of that. And they start to slowly um, sense there's something up until it actually gets to the point where um, something takes over his body and actually causes them to causes them to actually like put like punch people across the room and fling them um, around the room. 
and they start to get a feeling that the demon is trying to take hold of him, but it hasn't fully taken hold. Until she final until the until the lady finally <clears throat> snaps him back into the coma and and they get rid of the demon for for a brief moment. And so they 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 have to figure out how to get him back into his body because they they need someone that he trusts and he doesn't know the psychic woman. So if she goes to the further to try and get him, he'll think that she's one of the dead. And that's trying to trick her. I mean that's trying to trick him into getting into getting to his body so she can get in instead. So they need someone they can trust. Well, apparently, um, the psychic woman um, t tells the, the father um, that she act that he actually has the same ability as his son, but he never knew about it because they actually had him forget all about it because he had a similar experience. He had this experience where the where this um, dead woman was following him wherever he went, and in every photograph of his birthday or something, like as he's getting older, in each photograph you see the woman getting closer and closer to him and then finally gets to the point and then finally find a picture where she's actually nearing the point of finally possessing him and they finally um they contact that they his parents contact the the psychic lady and she not only um gets that um dead woman away from him but also has him forget all about this experience so nothing like that will happen again and the the main character boy the the boy in the coma he actually knows that um he can travel into the further and he he every night he travels deeper and deeper and 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 as he goes deeper the the more danger of him getting lost in the further is um gets more and gets greater and greater and it finally got to the point where he couldn't find his way back to his body and he's stuck there so they're saying that they need to send the father in into the further to get his son and get them both back to their bodies before the before the spirits um try to take possession. So they do it and it and it's like a scene out of like so, like a mix of the conjuring and Friday the 13th. It's so suspenseful. You know something's bound to happen. They they find a bunch of dead people who have either recently lived in the house or have been involved with the family in their past lives. It's really weird. And then they finally come across the main the main boy and he's sitting there and he he's scared and he shows his dad and he points up and you see the demon and of course this is a very cheesy moment the demon actually has like this freddy freddy cougar kind of um thing going like he has like the, the claws he's like sharpening the claws and i'm like oh my gosh you seriously had to make this demon cheesy it, it looked goofy as it was but now they made it like 10 times the goofiness and it was so weird so the demon sees them and and calls out to the other spirits that hey we have two bodies here get to him while you still can and they're they're running the boys are like running through the hallway with the demon chasing after him while the father is actually comes across that dead woman that actually um followed him around in his in his childhood and they actually he actually fights that dead woman and they finally and finally they both get to their bodies and they wake up well, there's a weird twist ending that I'll get to here in a minute. It's actually something I, I was actually when I saw the twist ending, I was thinking, wait a second, did Shyamalan direct this? But it wasn't Shyamalan. So they, um, they finally um they wake up. Everything appears to be fine. They they're like, we're all right. We're we're fine. We're 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 real. And then it shows the father with the psychic lady upstairs. And she brings up something about the family that the father knew about, but the father at the moment's like, I don't remember that ever happening. And she's like kind of scared, and he's like, what are you looking at? It's me. What are you talking about? And she takes the camera, she takes the camera, takes snaps a photo, and he loses it. He's like, what have you done? You know I don't like that. And he starts choking her, and he actually chokes her to death. She, she, he, he kills her, and the family goes upstairs to see him standing there in front of her dead body. She picks up the, the, the then the main character, she picks up the, the, the photo, and she sees not her husband, but the dead woman. She finds the woman, 
the woman who's been stalking him all these years is finally taking possession of his body. And that's where the that's where the story leaves off. And of course, you know, I was upset that it was of course, you know, sequel bait saying, Oh, there's gonna be a sequel to this, you know, you're um they're gonna continue this story and all that stuff and I'll get to Insidious too. Maybe not this month, but maybe next October, where I might do several more sequels to films. But this movie was very good in my opinion. It had a, a good story flow. It, had, it gave us something new. It gave us something different than what you would expect from other films. Other films just have, you know, a house that, where someone either died or someone performed witchcraft to bring a demon or something into the house. When really, it's not the house that's the problem in this film. It's actually, you know, this boy's special ability to travel into the further into the spiritual realm and the dangers of him, of him doing that are, are great because he could get lost, a spirit could possess his body to where he can't get back into it. His his spiritual self might actually like the further and not want to leave. And it <clears throat> it gets really like, it, it gives a unique perspective of like a new kind of horror. The horror that's not, that's not so cliched in other films like The Conjuring or Paranormal Activity or any of those other films. It gave us a different kind of feel to it, and that's what I like about it. Now granted, it did have flaws. It was it had some cheesy um comments. The some of the jokes were a little rushed. And the whole the whole premise of it did not fit that big into what a horror film would feel like. It felt too it felt too much like a, a thriller drama. But it did have some scary stuff. It, it was it, it it did give me jump scares a couple of times when I first saw it. It gave a new um, feel to what the horror um, films would be like. So my overall score for this film was actually quite high. I gave it a nine out of ten, or nine stars. And it was <clears throat> a lot of people would be shocked. They're like, seriously, you liked it that much? Even I don't like it that much. Well, I just think. Altogether, if it didn't fully focus on the whole further aspect and the whole new way of horror stuff and try to make it kind of cliche, I would I would have still given it a good score because it's not just it's not just the further element that actually makes it good. It's some of the other stuff that that the dialogue, the drama, it, all of that is good too. But what makes it stand out the most is how is how new it feels and how like it can be some new it can be a new genre of horror and all that and I like it. So that's my final score. Um, I will be um, putting out an, a review tomorrow for Alien vs. Predator, so um, look out for that. Um, I'm so glad to be um, filming all these reviews finally. And there will be some more horror reviews um, throughout the month. Peace out.